In about seven days from now, the SEC is going to do the unthinkable two XRP holders. And if you are not prepared for what I'm gonna share with you in this video, you could get completely wiped out this bull run. In a massive development, Ripple has minted a total of 350,000 Ripple stablecoins within a 24 hour period. Meanwhile, RLUSD is now listed on CoinGecko, one of the leading cryptocurrency data aggregators. The Digital Pound Foundation posted a video about five months ago talking about navigating the future of the stablecoins market. And we can see CEO and executive director of Stellar Lumens on here, Director of Regulatory Strategy at Circle, USDC Stablecoin. And this just in, CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, and Chris Larson will be attending the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia's eighth annual fintech conference between October 22nd and 23rd, discussing the future of blockchain technology, stablecoin regulation, among many other things. And with the SEC Chair Gary Gensler crushing the financial future of the US by waging war on the crypto industry, the SEC will either appeal or not appeal the recent decision in the lawsuit deciding whether XRP is a security or not. So will this finally be the cycle that XRP breaks the seven year downtrend? Well, in this video, we're gonna look at the XRP to the Bitcoin price chart on the monthly and show you what's likely to happen next. We're also gonna talk about XRP's market cap dominance, when a potential breakout could happen for XRP to absolutely melt faces, when Bitcoin's dominance is likely to roll around for us to see an explosion in altcoins in your portfolio. And last but not least, what narratives and what projects have the largest potential to run this bull run so we can have the best strategy and the best game plan to diversify if, God forbid, XRP misses this entire bull run. So you guys are going to absolutely love this video. Comment 777 if you're feeling blessed. Comment 777 if you're feeling bullish. And if you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree, you know what to do. Confirm it by tapping the like button, tapping the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and let's run it. In an era where bipartisanship can feel scarce, Gensler has done such a terrible job running the SEC that he has managed to unite members on both sides of the aisle condemning his failed leadership. Gary Gensler has worked to consolidate his own power even though it means crushing opportunities and frankly the financial future of this country. Rogue bureaucrats like Gensler are supposed to be working for the people, not reigning over them. He has wasted a large part of the SEC's resources to wage war on the crypto industry. The strategy, however, has not been successful for him as the SEC continues to lose again and again in the courts on its crusade against the digital asset uh, innovation in this country. It's time for the SEC to return to its mission and protect opportunities for every American who wants to participate in the greatest capital markets in the world. Digital asset innovation is an important part of that. What Gary Gensler doesn't understand is fighting against crypto innovation in America isn't going to stop it. He is only going to push crypto innovation off of American soil. This is exactly how disasters like FTX occur. The United States should want digital asset businesses under its regulatory umbrella and purview so that we have a safer digital asset ecosystem. Many people are concerned that Kamala Harris would actually appoint Elizabeth Warren or Gary Gensler to be her Treasury Secretary, which would only make matters worse. Their mission to upend free markets, innovation, and global competitiveness would destroy our financial system. We can't let that happen. America is ready for the pro-crypto president, and there's only one candidate who has promised to fire Gary Gensler on day one. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So when we dive into this video, one of the most important things that's going to be happening towards the end of this year is regulation. So we can see CEO Brad Garlinghouse, you know, Chris Larson attending um, these events. And these events are very important because when we look at the Digital Pound Foundation over in the UK, the European Union is getting ready for mass adoption, specifically with stable coins, because stable coins are how you bridge in and out and how you trade different cryptocurrencies using something like USDT that has a market cap of $120 billion or USDC with $35 billion. So the most important thing that's holding XRP back right now is regulatory clarity and certainty. And I know that's a word that nobody wants to pay attention to because we just wanna see green candles on the chart, but Ripple's waiting for this regulatory clarity to really start 
pushing their stablecoin out there and absorbing a large amount of liquidity in the market. Now, when we look at the XRP to the Bitcoin price chart on the monthly, XRP has been in a seven year downtrend and to the untrained eye, this doesn't look good, but that's what they want you to think. A uh, regular descending triangle pattern is commonly considered a bearish continuation pattern with an established downtrend. If we break the horizontal support that you guys can see where the pi cycle bottom indicator is flashed in about three out of the last four times, so a descending triangle pattern can also be bullish though with a breakout in the opposite direction if we break this descending resistance and also a horizontal resistance of 0 0.00003 in comparison to Bitcoin, also known as a trend reversal. So for a trend reversal to take place and XRP to outperform Bitcoin, we would need to clear the descending resistance in the high of 0 0.00003 that has been rejected from three times since August of 2021. And this can happen really quickly as XRP loves to move rapidly all of a sudden. So I want to talk about the main catalyst that would cause this to happen and the likelihood of it taking place and what to do before that happens so you can prepare yourself properly. What we've also seen is a bullish cross take place below 20 on the stochastic RSI, which is a momentum indicator, but it's not confirmed yet until the D line in orange that you guys can see at the bottom of the screen crosses above 20 with the K line in blue on the monthly because the K line right now is at 27. The D line is at 16. And even if the bullish cross is confirmed on XRP to Bitcoin's chart on a monthly close October 1st, if the D line passes above 20 and the K line stays above the D line, XRP to Bitcoin could still come back down to the support highlighted in yellow that you can see at the pie cycle bottom indicator the past two times another time before liftoff now this just simply means that bitcoin would outperform xrp if we come back down to the support but it doesn't necessarily mean that xrp would come down in price the xrp to bitcoin price chart that you're looking at right here simply measures xrp's performance compared to bitcoin so if the chart goes down it could just simply mean that bitcoin is going up while xrp is at the same price which is actually a likely scenario in my opinion, given what's happened this bull run so far, and Bitcoin has yet to break its all time high again and go into true price discovery, you know, to finally break a hundred thousand dollars like everyone predicted back in 2017 would happen. So this bull run cycle has the highest likelihood of it happening because there's more liquidity sloshing around the system. M2 is increasing over on China. They're issuing stimulus. The Fed is cutting interest rates. They're going to start issuing quantitative easing, adding to their balance sheet again. So in my opinion, Bitcoin breaking out is what happens first, because that's what has happened every single bull run prior to this bitcoin breaks out and leads the market and when bitcoin's dominance tops out and rotates that's when we see the great rotation of liquidity take place into large cap mid cap and micro cap altcoins and this is when the xrp market cap dominance percentage chart will melt faces so this simply just means how much of the total market cap of the industry xrp holds as you can see right now on this chart and if you guys want to go read this entire post on twitter you can click the link in the description below or go to bull runners hq follow our account if you have a twitter page we're going to post more value-based stuff like this this entire bull run to help you guys out and give you a macro market look on what's happening on the charts from a technical perspective and then also a fundamental perspective now as a quick reminder i'm not a financial advisor these videos are purely for educational informational purposes only so we're never going to tell you to buy or sell anything i just want to bring you the news and the facts and these videos are just to help you do your own research so read the full disclaimer in the description of this video before you continue watching because you're full grown adult as always i don't have to insult your intelligence you realize that any risk that you're taking in this market is on your own doing if you lose money that's your fault nobody else's if we look on the chart right here the pi cycle bottom indicator flashed back on may 1st and one month later by june 1st xrp bottomed out on the market cap percentage chart around one percent of the whole industry at the horizontal support now it's the same pattern that you guys can see right here in this descending triangle pattern for xrp to bitcoin xrp's market cap dominance is showing roughly the same chart and this doesn't necessarily mean that the bottom is in because xrp would need to hold the one percent support and the bullish cross that took place on may 1st that you guys can see on the stochastic rsi will confirm on october 1st monthly candle close if the stochastic RSI D line in orange stays above 20 on the monthly candle close. So even with a bullish close above 20, there will be some resistance near the 4% level in the descending trend line. So here's how I think this plays out. And again, this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. I could be completely wrong here. Last night, I looked at coin market cap and in the top 10, XRP was the only one that was up 6% while everything else was down. And that comes at the rumors of people buying up a decision for the SEC not to appeal. So people are buying rumors right now, but you need to be careful so you don't get wrecked here. Long-term, I think we're 
we're going to be seeing this happen a lot during the later stage of this bull run, especially as we see the adoption for distributed ledger technology and Ripple's interledger protocol across the major financial institutions globally. XRP will be the outlier and shock everyone when everyone least expects it because every bull run, it's been a sleeper. XRP then wakes up when the masses are asleep and absolutely explodes. And I'm not spreading hopium here. These are just facts. When you look at the charts and you pay attention over the next 30 seconds to five minutes of this video to confirm for yourself, right? Don't just trust, verify. Each bull run, it has happened rapidly. I've seen it firsthand back in 2017 and also 2021 with Ripple still facing uncertainty with the SEC going through the lawsuit. There was no clarity on that lawsuit. XRP still rallied over 16X from the bear market lows from COVID. So what do you guys think is gonna happen when there's clarity? When these stablecoin regulations come out globally? When we have a crypto friendly president in office? When Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC is gone? If this is your first bull run, I've been saying it for years and this is how it plays out. There's four phases. Phase one, first, they ignore you. They pay no attention to you. Because if you're a new company, you're not even making a dent or a ripple in the, in the ocean, so to speak, because you're just too small. You're not on the radar yet. Then phase two, they laugh at you. They laugh at your ideas. They laugh at your concept. You're like, XRP to power the world? That's hilarious. That's never going to happen. And they doubt you, right? So they laugh at you. They doubt you. Then phase three, when you start to get some traction and you pose a threat to the current ideologies and the systems that are in place, then they fight you. Okay, that's what we're going through right now. We're in phase three with XRP versus the SEC. The SEC targeted Ripple for selling XRP as a security and all these other projects were not in as big of a spotlight as XRP was. That tells me that we're onto something here because phase four, then you win. So why would you guys be mad? Why would you be fearful or doubt anything about the vision when people ignore, they laugh or they try to fight you when you explain something like XRP to them or any other crypto for that matter? Maybe you're telling them about XLM, HBAR, XDC, maybe ICP, maybe Chainlink, maybe Solana, any project that you guys are holding in your portfolio, that's how people are supposed to react. That's part of the phases, okay? When you understand it, then you emotionally detach yourself from the outcome because it's literally how the matrix works. How do you even know if these people that are throwing doubt your way have any souls or they aren't non-player characters programmed in the matrix to react in a certain way in this game of life that we're playing what if that's how they're programmed to respond with doubt to make the game more difficult for you and you think that it's like oh that's just another human being like me with a soul that's as conscious as mine responding back in a way that like why would they doubt it maybe i should believe them what if they're a video game character programmed by God to put here to doubt you to make it difficult? Just think about that concept. Now, that doesn't mean that that's true, but it's an interesting perspective if you look at it that way, so that way you could become more successful. Think about it. The devil will always throw the most doubt your way when you are close to the truth. Because surely, if everyone agreed with you and there was no fear and there was no doubt whatsoever, then it'd be too easy, right? Everybody would get wealthy. But the game in the matrix is not designed for everybody to get wealthy. There's, you know, upper class, middle class, and lower class for a reason. So you just have to choose what class you want to be in. God will always make it interesting on this planet. And when you look at history with how people reacted during the adoption phases of any revolutionary concept or new technology, it's all the same emotions. I mean, look at automobiles. First, they ignored Henry Ford when he's trying to create a car because they were driving horses and buggies. Then they laughed at him. They're like, a car that drinks oil and eats oil and drives? How does that even work? That's hilarious. This guy's a Looney Tune. Throw him in a Looney bin, put him in a straight jacket, muzzle him, and lock him up for life because he's a psychopath. That's what a lot of people probably said about Henry Ford. And then he started to get some tractions, and all these companies that owned all the horses, all the buggies, they saw him as a threat because he started to make some sales. But it was a little too slow because he was making the cars by hand. He didn't have the assembly line. Once the assembly line came out, then they really started to fight him. Every one was like, nah, why would I do that? Like, I, I like feeding my horse. I like scooping up horse poop. You know, I can trust my horse. I can trust him from getting from point A to point B. Uh, a car, I don't know if I can trust a car from not breaking down until they started to see that it was quicker, faster. That's XRP. It was more efficient. That's XRP. And it just overall was better than the current system. That's a car versus a horse, right? That's XRP versus the current banking system with Swift ACH wire transfers. And so they fight and then eventually, you know, they either try and buy you out. And if you can't be sold, they sue you. And then eventually you win. So Ford, that's why Ford automobiles and the assembly line completely revolutionized the car industry. So Ripple's distributed ledger technology, their inner ledger protocol, the XRP ledger, is going to completely change the game. So why would you be mad? Again, I repeat, 
Why would you be mad, fearful, or doubt the vision when people ignore, laugh, or try to fight you when you explain XRP to them or any other cryptocurrency? The fight phase is the final stage before adoption, and that's why everyone is the most negative right now about XRP. They've been ditching it for other projects. So study the psychology of a market cycle and you'll see how this plays out every single time. So when we look at the psychology of a market cycle, Bitcoin is either in the disbelief stage or the hope stage of the cycle. And the real gains come when optimism and euphoria take place above the all-time high in true price discovery. So for you to position yourself properly, it's the most simple thing ever. It's literally you just buy and you just hold and you sit back, you relax, you don't get shaken out during the disbelief dip. Even during hope, there's dips that get very volatile on the way up. Even during belief and thrill, you know, we'll see 20% up to 50% corrections on the way up. When Bitcoin gets into price discovery and we see certain altcoin narratives fly, there's still going to be periods where they're going to try and shake you out on the way up. So number one, Bitcoin breaks out first into price discovery past the all time high. This is my opinion here on what could happen. Let me know your guys thoughts like this video and subscribe to the channel if you agree. If you disagree, let me know your thoughts and your projection for the market uh, moving forward this bull run. So that's number one. Bitcoin breaks out first into price discovery like it's happened every single bull run cycle prior to this. Bitcoin leads the market and you can like that or not. It doesn't matter. Like I've seen a lot of people comment like, oh, when is XRP going to stop following Bitcoin? Who cares? Stop asking questions like that. Ask questions like what's the most likely scenario and what has happened in the past that is going to lead to what's going to happen in the future for XRP. Number two, altcoins like XRP, XLM, XDC, HBAR, and some other ISO projects may lag behind like they have currently. And number three, memes, artificial intelligence, real world assets, gaming projects run with Bitcoin and virtually everyone, you know, ditches the legit projects because they're just not moving. That's what's been happening. And they want you to sell out of those projects because when you sell them for a project that won't be around long term for some quick gains and then you get dumped on, that's how they accumulate more of the legit projects by shaking you out of them, either through price suppression or stalling tactics like what's happening between the SEC and Ripple. So number four, Bitcoin's dominance drops after it tops out around 60% or even around potentially 70%, you know, if Bitcoin really gets steamy going into 2025, we can get upwards of 70%. And then number five, when Bitcoin's dominance drops, we will confirm a bearish cross, as you can see on the chart right here, above 80 on the monthly stochastic RSI. Now, currently, the K line is at 98 and the D line is at 94. The highest we can get is 100. So Bitcoin's dominance is overvalued. This is a signal on what is about to happen next. And Bitcoin will sell off along with the other altcoins as money rotates back into stable coins for a bit while the market consolidates to form a new base above the all time high. So when Bitcoin's dominance drops, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that it goes right into altcoins all, all right away because money could flow out of Bitcoin and out of altcoins and into stable coins. And we would see Bitcoin's dominance uh, drop at the same time. So it doesn't mean that altcoins rally first because number six, this time around, you know, when Bitcoin consolidates and we see a drop, I, in my opinion, I think we'll see the real altcoins like XRP, XLM, HBAR, the ISO standard projects will start to absorb liquidity because regulation will be more clear. The stablecoin bills will be out. XRP will have the green light. The lawsuit will be finished. And number seven, we will see the seven year downtrend break and XRP to Bitcoin will outperform while XRP melts faces with the rally out of nowhere to the untrained eye. And everyone's gonna be like, whoa, you know, this is crazy. But XRP's market cap dominance percentage will break above 2% and then 3% of the industry and outperform the other large cap projects. And when this happens, all of the XRP bears on crypto Twitter that hate it on the project will flip bullish and say things like, oh, I saw it all along. I knew this was gonna happen. I told you guys this when they were just hating on XRP, trying to gain more credibility. And then retail will FOMO in on the green candles and social media will go crazy about XRP again. And then you win. Bitcoin's dominance is overvalued on the monthly with a stochastic RSI near 100. The RSI is the highest it's ever been along with the MACD, all of the signals of rotation will take place into altcoins after Bitcoin goes into price discovery and during the next Bitcoin correction, then XRP flies. So the most important thing to remember is that time in the markets always beats trying to time the markets. If the SEC doesn't appeal, then we could even see XRP move sooner, you know, in October. Um, people are buying the rumor right now that the SEC might not appeal. So be very careful with this rally right now, because if the SEC appeals, then I'd expect XRP to come back down to the support for the XRP to Bitcoin price chart until the appeal is over and the case finally wraps up. If they appeal, then the SEC is clearly stalling because they know that XRP is not a security. 
They don't care about protecting investors like Gary Gensler says, because what agency would say that and then file an appeal literally the last minute unless there was a hidden agenda there. You know, if they really wanted to protect investors, they would have probably appealed it right away, give everyone fair warning about it. But no, the SEC doesn't work that way. They just file things whenever they want. They damage investors' portfolios, like what they did the entire lawsuit. They stall. So whatever agenda is, we can all speculate on, you know, whether they're stalling and suppressing the price. So the people that are working with them, working with banks, working behind the scenes with the Fed can accumulate more XRP before 2025, before adoption. Maybe they want to shake retail out until it's go time. And the last holders that can't be shaken out like us are left that they know they won't be able to shake out. Whatever the agenda is that they filed the lawsuit for in the first place, who cares? They need to buy more time until the financial system is ready for mass adoption of Ripple's tech. So if you're well diversified into the right narratives, you won't miss this bull run, even if, you know, God forbid XRP misses this bull run. We got a plan and we got a play for every situation. So this is why we diversify into other narratives. For example, layer ones, artificial intelligence, decentralized exchanges, gaming projects, meme coins, real world assets. There are tons of projects out there that will and have been outperforming, you know, XRP, XLM, the other ISO projects in the short term that I've been diversified into since 2022. And if you guys wanna see what those projects are and which ecosystems, narratives, and niches are going to absorb the most liquidity when Bitcoin breaks out and goes into price discovery. And we see that great rotation as Bitcoin dominance drops into the top large cap, mid cap, and micro cap projects to be able to spot the next 100x gem. Then what you wanna do right now is go to bullrunners.com if you're ready to become a crypto millionaire this bull run cycle and take your knowledge in your portfolio to the next level. You can join our early bird list for exclusive altcoin picks, market analysis and early access to our crypto education platform. When we drop it, you don't need any previous crypto trading experience. You just go to bullrunners.com, click the button on the page that says, yes, reserve my spot on the list, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter to receive value-based videos like this. You'll get access to our Telegram group with nearly 12,000 members, and you'll be able to position yourself properly as we back up our truck all the way to the bank, grab the bags, pack them and stack them, leave no bags left behind because we believe the spending power of the dollar is just gonna continue to go down in value. That's a fact based on inflation. Blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology, and cryptocurrencies are going up in value. That's the truth. And together, we're all going camping on the beaches of the moon. I will see you guys on the next video. I will see you on Bullrunners dot com as always you know what to do stay bullish